Welcome to the tutorial on how to wire up canvas gauge clusters and how to install our code that we made for SimHub onto an Arduino. Well, this is the guinea pig we're going to use in this video. In this tutorial, you will be able to wire up something like this or this this or even a bigger project like this or more but that's not the topic of today so let's get into the video you will need an arduino and i always use who knows this now right here is a clone but it serves the purpose of doing what we want so a cluster like this will work need a canvas shield this right here is a seed canvas shield linked in the description and um, we need it in order to have working canvas signals on this one do is stick it on like this and the arduino is basically ready to go and in the next part i will show you how to upload code Not for this guy right here so on the back of it it has two connectors one this right here and this big green one right here this one right there is for power this one is for canvas and other signal stuff now i have original connectors the power connector with the respective wires the brown one right here this one is ground one of them is constant and ignition. Now, over here I have a fully labeled green connector that I pulled out of a scrapped car. On our Discord server, linked in the description of course, you will as well find pinouts like for this stuff. Now, the really important wires are the canvas wires, which I've labeled here. This is not the one. This orange one right here is can high, and the yellow one is can low. These will go on the Arduino onto those two pins, can high and can low, and then into the back of the cluster. Now in this case, I'm only gonna show you the basic setup process of plugging this in, hooking it up to ground and positive so it powers up, and uh, the canvas stuff is fairly simple. Just connect the two lines and you're done. Everything else, we will have diagrams on the Discord server. To have this connector ready, all you really do, ground to ground, and those two to voltage and the cluster will wake up. There you go, cluster's on. In the next 10 minutes, you will learn about how to upload arduino codes so your specific cluster will work okay so now we're switching to the view on my computer so i can show you how to prepare the arduino for the use with the specific instrument cluster you want to use is of course if it's in the supported list on our discord server well what you want to do is um Go ahead and get on our server. Hang on. Link to the server if you're not on it is in description. So once you are on our server, you go here. The, you guys cannot view this uh, channel yet. This is locked. Well, here you will have the sketches you will need. Now I'm gonna show you the example of uh, the Ford code. Uh, I know the previous cluster we just wired up in the previous clip is a Volkswagen one, but this is just to show how the zip file will be built. Okay, so once you have uh, the file downloaded, it will have these files right here. So if we extract those, and go ahead and go into our downloads folder 
and into the extracted folder right here and open up the readme you will be greeted with this so this right here states uh, which cluster sketch you are using right here so the 2013 plus Ford clusters uh, and those two we for sure know are fully supported by the sketch we are on right now then this this line right here is really important it can only be uploaded with xloader which I'm obviously going to show in a second how to do that then of course I also stated right here that the basic tutorial will be on my YouTube channel and you will find out with this clip right here that I'm showing you right now uh, how to upload to the Arduino and of course mine and RBMK's uh, Discord tags so once you have all of this do not worry about this file yet I'm gonna show you how to set that up in a second well, once you have this, check all the files right here. So usually the Ford clusters are 500 kbps in canvas speed. Now you need to select, depending on the shield you have, which canvas code will work, which one will not. If you have a seed shield, you will need to select the one with the CS pin 9. If you have a normal shield or well a key studio shield for example you need to select 10 now how do you upload this is very simple go to X loader uh, is as well gonna be in this channel I think it's already in here yep this zip right here download this then once you have it extract it upload up open up the file right here the xloader.exe this little window right here will open up now go here on this folder and go into the f file right here and select the file which is set so in this case 500 kilobyte kbps with the cs pin to, to 9 then hit open and select the Arduino you have. Now before you continue right here, we should plug in our Arduino, which I'm gonna do right now. You could hear the sound, so now it's plugged in. Uh, select Uno, and Mega, or well, whatever Arduino you have. I obviously have an Uno hooked up right now, but it should theoretically work with the Mega as well. And of course, uh, the Nano will as well work. Now, select the COM port your Arduino is on, in this case 4, and always set the baud rate to this exact one, else it will not work. And then just hit the upload button, and as you can tell right now, it's telling me that the bytes have been uploaded so now if you want to confirm that it works just and you have the Arduino IDE installed open up the Arduino IDE and hit serial monitor hit this and if it works it should just print this right there as it's not programmed to say anything else specifically and waiting for input on the simhub port of course so now how do you set this up to actually run with simhub well simple you go back into this folder and open up this text file this part is really important in order for for example turn indicators to work and warning lights to show like ABS flashing and stuff and cruise control for ETS and high beam and stuff like this and of course the gear on diff uh, diffusion for example mine is an auto so you will have to open up simhub for this uh, 
and uh, I'm going to show you how to configure this so it'll work properly. Okay, here we go. Um, now, as you can tell, I don't have this big ass banner down here with the license thingy. That does not matter at all because, well, it will work with when you don't have an actual license. Now, to set this up, you click on Arduino and this will most likely freeze up for a sec and then click on my hardware and doesn't matter if single or multiple Arduinos single Arduino will work fine then you can tell it has connected to this and shows up as 2013 Ford Fusion instrument cluster well determined word for that you click down here and uh, click edit usually this will be set to this you click to computed value and now this is the important part you go to this text file right here and copy all of what's in here and paste it in this ncalc formula like this if everything were properly this should pop up right down here now hit OK and apply changes everything was done correctly it should pop pop back up and your cluster should now turn on so if you haven't done it already plug it into power and the cluster will turn on now in order to uh, actually play with it you obviously need to set your right values for the gauges so click on the gauges tab up here on rpm advanced calibration and here we are a uh, cop I think uh, I'm not sure no those aren't the values that I use for the fusion uh, don't copy those I have those saved somewhere so I'm gonna put them up somewhere in the discord server for the fusion as well and uh, you as well need to do for the speedometer gauge set the right values here which I as well I'm gonna publish somewhere uh, fuel gauge doesn't matter on diffusion. I don't have that working with the Arduino uh, But the temp gauge This is what you can set up. Oh, I know for what those values were these values are for the Mercedes W212 cluster that I have So yeah, if you have one of those and the sim up sketch for that is Maybe already released. I don't know uh, copy those values for the RPM and speedometer right here now this is basically everything all you go do can do now is go to games go to whatever game you want for example BMG drive make sure this is all configured which is pretty much self-explanatory with uh, the sim up instructions start the game go into a map and there we go you can play with your instrument cluster now so yeah, that was this short little basic tutorial. I hope it helped and you guys enjoyed watching it. So please be sure to subscribe if you want to. So you will not miss any sorts of videos related to this topic. See you guys. Goodbye.